Hello and welcome back to Ravenwood Acres and my messy workbench. Yes, we have all kinds of stuff here on the workbench. We did show show you here in the beginning that we have an airborne mesh device that is relaying messages around the world. No, but it is a really cool concept and a cool idea that I didn't... Well, I got the idea and I figured somebody else must have has already done this, right? And it, it took me a little bit of digging and ironically enough ended up being one of the people that i follow on youtube urban prepper and i will link his video here in the in this video uh so you can check that out but they did some testing with a larger drone and up in tacoma washington which is you know roughly 60 70 miles from where we live and um they were able to get and i want to say it was up to you know, nearly 10 miles, but uh, there's been testing that's been done that people have gotten further. Now I have never gotten more than about two miles so far. So that's, you know, that is kind of, you know, kind of falls in the GRMS, you know, handheld radios, whether you're using a, uh, one of those midlands or you're using one of these, oh my gosh. And, um, but, um, yes, so there is all kinds of options out there. Well, as you may know, if you subscribe to this channel, which hopefully you do, and if not, please do, we're all about preparedness here. And emergency communications is something I'm passionate about and have been for a long time. I've played around with everything from CB radios as a kid to, you know, being an amateur radio, uh, licensed amateur radio operator myself now and have been uh, for four years. So, um, but I really like these because they make it to where, you know, you might be able to convince a family member to throw one in their backpack or their car uh, when they're in and around town and there's, you know, I don't know, something's going on, but then they can just use their, their, their cell phone. And then they got this little app right here and they just send you a message. Right. But we all know that things never go the way exactly we want them to. And what if we need more altitude to be able to get us more range get us over terrain which is something i have to deal with here um so this option is an option right and maybe this is not the best drone for this but this is a very popular drone a lot of people have a mavic mini right um what if you take this heavy device that's I knew I had to get it around 70 grams based on another video I watched and people just testing the Mavic Mini and how much it'd lift. And I got this Lilygo Tieco, which is new, and I'll do a, a, a more in-depth video on that in the future because it's kind of unique. Uh, let's see, let's try that again. It's about 70. And now it's saying 68. Well, yeah, my, my scale may not be the best. This antenna, which is what it normally comes with, 12 grams. So I swapped out the one off of one of the T-beams, eight grams. So, save myself four grams. Um, don't know if that made or, <laughs> made or break the whole ability to um, move that, but then look like one of this rack setup, which I just also received a couple days ago. This is also a, a mesh device, along with, I'm sorry, the fishing line is, a 2000 milliamp hour battery, which is probably not necessary if you were just using it for an airborne uh, setup for a relay. Um, that's only 50 grams. So you're probably going to get more battery life out of your drone. Therefore, you could stay airborne longer, send and receive more messages that could be on a schedule if you were in a certain situation, right? So uh, that would require something like that. If you are somebody out there that is awesome at designing 3d printed models uh, maybe you should reach out to me we could talk about building a um, uh, a 3d printed um, enclosure that would adapt to 
w one of these or another drone. Maybe there's another drone that's a better idea. I don't know. That's that's something. I mean, because imagine having that um, as a option uh, that's very easily deployable. That's always on. That's that could basically be permanently mounted uh, and maybe even tied into the device, the drone's battery, so you don't even have to provide that. And then maybe this GPS antenna. You know, I don't know, it's probably a gram or two because it's got the, and then you got the GPS module and then it's a ceramic antenna. So that ties into the GPS antenna in there. And then all you got is this little lower antenna right here. Um, and boom, now you're, uh, you have an airborne platform that always is uh, able to send and receive uh, mesh, uh, you know, mesh communications through your LoRa protocol, right? So these are options that I think people in our space should be considering. Uh, I know that's intimidating. That's why in the future video, I'm, I'm going to probably recommend this device for entry level people. Cause it gets, it, it does, doesn't look like that. And it's, it looks like that inside kind of, but, <laughs> um, it comes all prepackaged, right? So there might be a little more, uh, user friendly, you hand this to a kid or a family member or whatever, and they're going to be like, Oh, cool. Kind of looks like a little, it's got a little screen and kind of looks like a little walkie talkie or something. So yeah, it seems simple. It's not intimidating. I mean, these, once they're all put up, right, they look, they look great. Don't you like that new 3d printing color I put in there? It's pretty cool. We have, we have loving the 3d printer. So, Hey, if you guys like what we're doing here, please subscribe to the channel, follow along. I will link my mesh communications or my emergency communications playlist here. So you guys can learn more. That playlist includes other people's videos that have covered some of these topics, uh, in very, very detailed, uh, way. So you can learn more. No reason for me to repeat that content. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. One more thing. Don't forget, check out our website, theravenwoodacres.com. And I will have a new tab that's going to be up there, just all mesh. So you can go there for that information if you don't want to deal with the YouTube playlist or whatever. And our other social media links, which are linked below.